Hello and welcome back to my mini me <laughs> mini metro let's play. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and I'm recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America. This is episode three, and today we're gonna play New York City. Um, if you don't know what this game is, it um, I do explain it in a lot of detail in the first two episodes where we played London and Paris. Basically, it's a simulation slash puzzle game. You won't be lost if you watch this episode, um, but if you want to know more in depth uh, my strategy and so forth, I recommend going back to the first two episodes, particularly the first one. Um, you can see that I've been playing for the last few days and my top score in New York City is 2235, which is not too bad. I think it's my highest score I've ever gotten in the game. Frankly, anytime I get over a thousand, I am pleased. <laughs> uh, so you can see that I'm in the bottom 23%, but that's okay. Like I say, we're just playing for fun. So we're going to go ahead and get started with New York City. If you are new to this game, um, this is a metro system that we're creating. These shapes are our, trying, are, are, um, stations and these little shapes are our passengers and the square wants to go to a square the triangle wants to go to a triangle and so forth so i'm going to go ahead and get started um, i do want to show our resources we have three lines and uh, three tunnels to start off with and let's see we'll go ahead and extend you over here and we'll do this for now I do find with this particular map that I spend a lot of time rearranging the map. For example, I took that triangle off the line and put this one on because it uh, makes more sense and it's closer to this. Uh, the distance between these two, this triangle and circle, is less than the distance between the square and the triangle, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this line down. You try not to have two of the same shape in a row. I find in this map in particular, I really want to not have two of the same shape in, in a row because things get really congested. So even if I have to travel a little bit further to add an extra shape in between, um, I do that and it seems to be working pretty well. Now here we don't have any choice. If we want to bring this purple line down, we're going to have two in a row, but I'm going to go ahead and bring the green over. I might change that later as more things spawn over here. Like for example, if a, a triangle were to spawn over here, I would go ahead and get take this line away and I would bring the, uh, I'd make it circle, triangle, circle. So you have to be flexible to play this game, but that being said, it is a very relaxing game. Okay, now we don't have any choice, unfortunately. I don't have any bridges and I need to come over here. Um, let's wait, it's almost Sunday night. Um, at midnight, we're going to get midnight Sunday night. We're gonna get more resources. Let's see if we get a, a bridge. So you always get a locomotive. Uh, yes, okay, it gave us a bridge, so I don't have to take this line away yet. And I can go ahead and bring this one down. Okay, up here we have spawned a unique shape. So um, I try to have as many lines as possible go through the unique shape. So I'm going to bring, for now, I'm gonna have just the orange line. Um, as things progress, I will probably try to um, add some other lines through there because we'll start noticing that there'll be diamonds uh, popping up. Um, and I'll explain that more as it happens as the game progresses. So far we've carried 70, 79 passengers to their destinations. And again, um, trying not to get two circles in a row, but as we can see over here, all we have are circles. So we're not going to have any choice. I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy up here and I'll go ahead and bring him just because he's closest. And I just broke my own rule. I hooked him up before I actually really needed to. So I'll just wait. Okay, good. We have a square down here now. That's good. We seem to get fewer squares than any other shape. So I try uh, to 
use squares as often as possible, again with as many lines as possible. Things are running pretty smoothly so far. It's almost the end of the week again. Got a lot of triangles over in this area and we only have triangles over here. So the game is being a stinker and uh, giving us a challenge, but that's okay. We're up for it. Uh, there's no music with the game yet, but evidently that is in the works. No sounds, no music. Uh, I sort of like it. I like peace and quiet though, but you could always listen to any music you wanted to. Hopefully when they do add music, you'll have an option of multiple soundtracks because sometimes if you're listening to the same thing over and over again, it can be a little annoying. Okay, so end of uh, we're starting week three. We get a locomotive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose line. Here's another unique shape. I'm going to go ahead and bring these two lines through. Okay, now it would be probably closer to drag this over, but then we would have three circles in a row. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over. Now this plus sign on this purple line is going to have to be taken to the green line and then the green line is going to have to take it all the way up here. So what I could do, well either way, I mean it's got a long ways to go because even if I bring this orange line down here, even temporarily, it's going to have to take all these plus lines all the way up here. So for now I'm just going to hang on with that. Uh, we do have an extra line right now. So what I might do is try to put another line in here to alleviate some of this congestion. I do want it to go through the unique shape and also I want it to alternate so that it's not going through two of the same if I don't have to. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do this. Oh, I don't have a bridge. <laughs> okay, let me do this then. I'm going to go across here. Oh, wait, what is going on? Let's do this. Go here, 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 and here. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is worrying me over here and in fact game over. <laughs> okay, uh, that's how not to play. 279 passengers in only 20 days. Let's restart and see how it goes. Maybe we'll have better luck this time. And you know, this is one of the things I love about this game is when you do finish the game, you uh, very likely will think in your head, oh, I could do way better than that. So you will uh, start immediately. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. You'll immediately start to uh, play again. <laughs> and then three hours later, you'll realize you've been playing all day. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring over the purple line to the triangle. Of course, I could have waited because, and I should have waited actually, because he doesn't even have anybody over here yet. Maybe we'll do better this time. Okay, unfortunately we're going to have two, unless we use our bridge to come back over here, which we could do temporarily. I'm just going to go ahead and have two circles in a row. Hopefully um, we'll spawn some other shapes over here and over here. If it got really crowded, I could drag the orange line up here so that it uh, helps alleviate. And in fact, I'll go ahead and do that. OK. 
Okay, what do we want to do? Do we want to bring the orange line over because it's close? Or what? But that would make us have three oranges in a row. I mean, three circles in a row, but either way, uh, we're in trouble. <laughs> no, we're not in trouble yet. We could be, though. Okay, we've got a new locomotive and a new line I'm going to choose. So we have a line in case we need it. Okay, we have a unique shape that spawned over here. I'm going to have all of the lines go through there. Okay, who do we want to come up here? I'm going to go ahead and do this just because it's not going to take an extra bridge. And we have two squares right next to each other. That's not very nice of the game to do that. Um, what I could do is just do this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do this. For now, anyway. Okay, we have one bridge. Who do we want to come over to this triangle? Oh uh, gosh, let's see. If we do orange line, it'll be two triangles in a row. I guess I'll go ahead and bring over the green. Okay, good. This will help things a lot because we're going to have a triangle in between these. So I'm probably going to shorten this green line here. We don't have any bridges available. And of course we got another circle. Things are pretty under control this time. I seem to be doing a little bit better than I did last time. Okay, who is dropping those squares off here? It is it was probably the orange line because I don't think the orange line goes through a square. Because green and purple, yeah, the orange line does not go through a square yet, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with line again. Um, I could have chosen a carriage, but it seems like everybody's under control for now. Um, we have unique shape over here, but we don't have any bridges or tunnels, so we're going to have to wait on that. We do have an extra locomotive though. And it seems like the orange line is the most backed up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the orange line. And of course we got another circle over here. Now, even if I want to use this bright orange line right now, I can't because I don't have a locomotive available because I put it on here, but I could always take it off of here and use that line. But at the end of the week, I'm going to get another locomotive anyway. Let's go ahead and bring green up here. I'm going to bring over, who do I want to bring over here? Either orange or purple. Hmm. Either one would work. I'm going to go ahead and go with orange. Mainly because that one already has two locomotives, so stretching it a little bit further. I mean, the purple line is already pretty long. It'd be nice if we could get a square over here that would offload some of the... Uh, no, it gave it to me over here. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see. Who do we want to give the square to? I'm going to go ahead and give it to the orange line because, like I said, it seems to be the busier of 
the lines and this needs to go through there. Sometimes when they spawn really close to the tracks, I sometimes don't notice that they are not connected until they start flashing at me. Okay, locomotive. I'm going to go with bridge because I don't have any. I'm going to go ahead and drag this line over so that it goes through the square also. Okay. Uh, this line's getting backed up a little bit. I'm going to do a trick that I showed in episode two where I, because I did have one locomotive and I have a spare line, so I'm going to use it to uh, help offload some of these things. Uh, let's see who else might be in trouble. Okay, now we have a star over here. He's a unique shape, so I'm going to go ahead and bring over There we go. And this guy's getting a little bit backed up, so I'll just help him a little bit. I always feel better when I have a spare line and locomotive so I can do this just so things don't get out of hand. Okay, he's back, he's checking there. We're doing pretty well. Way better than the last time, right? Okay. It makes sense to put the triangle in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, offload you. Okay, well, I knock on wood. I think we're doing okay. Not a whole lot to say right now. It's just sort of relaxing and enjoying the game. This guy is getting backed up. It won't let me do that. I can do this. Nope. It doesn't like for you to cross lines. So let's take off the squares. That'll at least alleviate. Let's take the squares up here. Okay, locomotive. And again, I'm going to go bridge. I might be crazy, but... You'll be amazed how quickly we need bridges. We already have two circles in a row here. I'm going to go ahead. I know it's going to sound crazy. I'm going to drag this up here. Okay, circles. That guy's going to pick up there. I'll take off some of these triangles, move them down. As soon as the train starts moving to the next station, you can delete it if you want. Had to go through two stations that time. And let's see where else do we need it. We still need to alleviate some of the, the stress here. Just gonna take it. No, it doesn't want me to cross the line. That's okay. Oops. Okay, I spoke too soon because now it's starting to get a little crazy. <laughs> I'm going to use this line now to alleviate some of the stress that's going on through here. And we have another unique shape that spawned over here. Let's see if that helps any. I'm going to go ahead and put an extra train on this track because it's really long. This darker orange one is super, super long. It's not going to let me drag this over. This is starting to make me nervous. We might have game over sooner than we wanted. And nobody seems to be heading this way.
Yeah, we're about to be game over maybe. I'm going to go ahead and drag this locomotive right here. Hopefully it's not too late. Oh my gosh, that was the nick of time. <laughs> that was too close for comfort. We're not out of the woods yet though. Let's see. Okay, okay. We have another unique shape going on over here. Let's w keep an eye on him. And we have another carriage. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Let's see where we might need it. A lot of these lines are getting really long. I think we're okay for now, so I'm going to hold off on the carriage until I see who needs it. Although I'm thinking the lighter orange line might be the one who needs it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the lighter orange. And basically that just doubled the workload of our of our uh, locomotive there. This guy still hasn't spawned any passengers. Or di oh, I spoke too soon. And I'm going to have as many people go through him as possible. really trying to have as many people go through the squares as possible. Oh, see this guy spawned. I didn't even notice him. Let's go ahead and have this guy come up here. The bigger the board gets, the harder it is uh, to keep track of everybody. <laughs> We're starting to get a little bit backed up on some of these. We're doing really well though. We're over 900. So like I said, if I get to a thousand, I'm always happy. Um, I'm going to say bridge and let's see, we might need to put an extra locomotive on one of these lines. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on the dark orange line because it seems to be I'm just going to go ahead and add him even though he doesn't have passengers so, just so I don't forget. But we do have a couple of bridges in case we need them. I'm going to add you. Nope, I can't do that because he's already on that line. I can drag him off. Drag him off the line. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Now there is a way to get it to unhook from a, a thing, but I have not been able to get it to successfully do it. If you know how to do that. Oh no. Oh, okay. Whew, I just thought I made it worse. Uh, yeah, I can't add him to that line because let me try doing it this way. Oh, that worked. Okay. I want to do this. Oh, maybe you have to drag it the opposite way of what I've been doing. Oh, oh well, look at this. We've got this triangle all the way out here all by himself. <laughs> that just figures. Um, okay, we've got another square down here. This is just mean of the game to give us three squares like this all in a row. I'm going to go ahead and drag that line onto it. And this one's starting to get backed up a little bit. It's Friday night um, in the game. <laughs> so Sunday we should hopefully get, maybe we'll get another line. It's so funny because things could like get really hectic and then they'll calm down a little bit. Okay, he has a star on him. So I'm hoping I'll have the choice to get another line this time. He's getting backed up with triangles, but he should be... Yeah, he's got a way to go to get to a triangle. So, oops, locomotive line. Yes, 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 line. Okay, so I'm going to drag him up to there. Um, let's see. 
who do we want to come over here? I'm going to take green and have him go through here, here, oh, and then up here. All right, so we have a spare line and locomotive right now, so I can start offloading some of these guys and helping them out a little bit. I always feel more comfortable when I've got an extra one. Okay, we've got this guy way up here. Oh, I don't have enough bridges to go up there that way. Can I go up this way? Yes. Wow, that's making that green line really long. I think I may take you off of here and go ahead and do this, even though I'm going to have three of the same shape in a row. Okay, this one. He's got some circles he needs to have taken care of. Okay, the game is getting more challenging now, but look, we're already up to 1300. So at this point, I always feel like, okay, now we're just trying to control the chaos. And I have to keep checking to see if anybody has spawned that I haven't noticed, because that happens. And just uh, basically at this point, putting out fires. <laughs> oh, and of course another circle, although I'm not going to hook him up yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we are really getting crazy now. A lot of triangles here. Locomotive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get up with line again. And I'm going to place a line. <sighs> Where, though? That is the question. Okay, I'm actually going to pause the game. I'm going to hit uh, the space bar on the keyboard to pause the game so I can think about this for a minute. Um, our score is really good. I'm very happy with the score. Can we do anything else to make things run more efficiently? I'm going to run this blue line over here. I'm going to basically check out one line at a time and see what I can do to try to help things. Even if I have to make existing lines a little bit longer to start off with. Okay, so that blue line is relatively long, but okay. Um, purple line is coming down here, going around. He could handle probably a couple more stops. Let's do this. Whoops. Um, we'll just keep an eye on these guys to make sure they don't get too out of control, but I think the purple line probably should come up here and help offload some of this stuff. That might be a better use of it, but again, we'll keep an eye on these down here. Um, we've got all these circles, and this guy really always seems like he's super busy. So I'm going to actually add a line. I'm going to hit uh, space bar so the game starts up again and I've deleted that yellow line so the ones that seem to be backed up I'm gonna go ahead and go um, circle triangle square circle triangle I don't have a bridge do I want him to go that way no I'm going to take him down Circle, unique shape. No, it's not going to let me. Square, no. Circle, no, because it needs a tunnel. Um, okay, well, maybe we will. Maybe we will go ahead and go up here. I'm just thinking out loud now, obviously. <laughs> and we have one more line. I think I'm going to reserve it as a uh, catch-all. 
I'm going to take these circles where they need to go. That brown line is really hard to see. All right, let's hit spacebar, start the game up again. Hopefully things are a little bit more under control. And I'm going to, we got some triangles over here and circles that need to swap spots. Yeah, definitely um, with this map, I have to pause a lot more often than I have in other maps. Oh, and of course, another circle. This seems to be okay over here. This guy's backing up up here because he has a triangle nowhere near him and I don't have a tunnel. So this might be a bad problem. Oh, can we get rid of a tunnel, at least temporarily? Yes. So let's do this. Okay. But now i got to put him back on a line. I don't remember which one he was on, so I'll just bring this one up. Oh, yes, thank goodness. Uh, a square up here is good. Let's do that. Okay, we got a triangle down here who needs to be on the line. I'm going to take him. Oh, this is hard. Circle, circle. Let's take these triangles off at least. That'll alleviate that. Okay, a triangle over here. Like I said, right now, it's pretty much just putting out fires until I die. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had another bridge. It's going to be soon, but maybe not soon enough. Okay, let's do this. Take this bridge off again. Oh. Do this. All right, space bar. Play the game again. Locomotive. Oh, thank goodness a bridge. All right, so let's do this. Um, he needs to, we really need, oh, oh, here's a big fire over here. I paused again. <laughs> um, I'm going to, we have two bridges. I'm going to do this. And we do have an extra locomotive, which I'm going to go ahead and put on the green line just because it is so crazy busy. Okay, I'm going to pause again. Oh, keep playing for a second. Let's see. Got a couple of big guys flashing at me here. Let's see. We got squares and triangles and so forth over here. Let's do this. And this one up here is worrying me. So, um, where does he need to go? He has plus signs, triangles, all different kinds of shapes, diamonds. Let's see if we can do this. It may be too late. It might be too late. It might be too late. Oh, nick of time. All right. Ooh, that was close. All right. Who else is flashing at me? Let's pause for a second. This guy's flashing a little bit. He's about halfway. He's got a lot of triangles, so let's really quickly get his triangles off. Oh, this guy. Oh, oh, wow. This game is really getting challenging. <laughs> um, where do we want to offload next? We have a couple of bridges. So where could we put those bridges to best use? Should I? Yes, I should be bringing this yellow line up here. That's what I should be doing. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And back down here. Okay. Who else is flashing at me? This guy's flashing at me. Okay, but he's got his times going down. This guy seems to be pretty overloaded. Oh, but now that I did that yellow line, I don't have a spare. A spare 
locomotive. So we're just going to have to let the game run and see what happens. This might be the end, but it's not over till it's over. Okay, let's, this guy, it's going to be a close call. Mm, yeah. Oh, and he's really close too. All right. Well, we did really well. We got over 2,000. I am extremely impressed with how we did. 2033, over 66 days. I'm going to take a screenshot. All right, that was a fun game. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope you come back next time. Um, in a few days, I'll record the next city, which I think is Hong Kong. And if you have any comments, uh, please definitely leave them below. Nice comments, please, um, or suggestions. And if you liked it, please like it. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I am going to start um, recording some Sims Let's Play soon. So uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. And um, if you haven't played Mini Metro yet, go ahead and give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. Have a great day. Bye.